Arachnophobia is the fear of spiders and other arachnids, and many people the world over experience this. In fact, it's one of the most common phobias. However, usually the creatures in question are small. For example, a house spider. But over the years, there have been reports of large spiders in remote locations. Recently, we have talked about the Congo a lot, and how it could house many unknown creatures. One alleged creature said to dwell in the Congo are giant spiders. These spiders are believed to be huge. These stories allegedly come from real life encounters. Most of the tales describe the spiders digging a shallow tunnel under tree roots, and camouflaging it with large beds of leaves. Then they create an almost invisible web between their burrow and the nearby tree. Some creatures soon to end up on the menu will trip the line alerting the spider. This predatory entrapment is similar to some species of trapdoor spider. Natives claim the hatchlings are bright yellow with a purple abdomen. Their coloration becomes darker and brown as they mature. Some of the natives to the region in the Congo where the spiders have been seen assert that the spider was once quite common, but has become very rare. One native said the following about their encounter. I was walking with my daughter through the forest one evening when we encountered something huge. We have always called the Congo Basin home and we have witnessed many animals. This however was different. The animal we saw looked like a spider but was much bigger. While walking, we could hear shuffling behind us. Thinking it was a rat or something, we continued on. However, after around five minutes, I wanted to know what was following us. We headed towards a curve in the forest and decided to see what the creature was. To our shock, we saw a spider that was two foot in diameter. We get large spiders where we live, but nothing this size. We waited for a few minutes and the giant spider wandered off. This isn't the first time that I've heard of this creature. Many people have told stories of these giant spiders, and some are going to say they get even bigger than this. Since this encounter, I haven't seen any giant spiders. The fullest account by Westerners appears in a cryptozoological book by George Eberhard. On page 204, Eberhard relates the terrifying experience of an English couple traveling through a jungle region of what is now the Congo. R.K. Lloyd and his wife were motoring in the jungle in 1938, when they saw a large object crossing the trail in front of them. At first they thought it was a cat or a monkey, but they soon realized it was a spider with legs nearly three feet. Famous naturalist and cryptozoologist William J. Gibbons also encountered one of these creatures. On his third expedition in search of the Michele Membe, he came upon natives who related their experiences with giant spiders. He said the following about this encounter. On this third expedition to Africa, I took the opportunity to inquire if the pygmies knew of such giant spiders, and indeed they did. They speak of the giant or the great spider. They described a spider that is generally brown in colour with a purple abdomen. They grow to quite an enormous size with a leg span of at least 5 feet. The giant arachnids weave together a layer made of leaves similar in shape to a pygmy heart, and spin a circular web said to be very strong between two trees with a strand stretched across a game trail. These giant ground dwelling spiders prey on the forest antelope birds and other small game, and are said to be extremely dangerous, not to mention highly venomous. Another story of giant spiders comes from a family who'd moved into a remote place in New Mexico. One evening the youngest daughter told the parents she'd found a cat and was playing with it. After a few minutes the parents went looking for her and found her playing underneath the porch with what they thought was the cat. After looking closer, they discovered it was not a cat but a giant spider. The family grabbed the girl and moved out soon after. So what do you guys make of these stories? Do you think giant spiders inhabit dense regions of the Congo? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.